So let's start by taking apart this set here. And I've got something to prove here that every set is a spaceship. Every set is a spaceship in disguise. I feel like I could do I could do something with this. I'm thinking I'm thinking we could have this yeah just kind of extend like that and maybe have the rear like that use these yeah that looks good um, how about this here and could probably attach that there as well Let's see how this turns out Mm, no, I don't like that. Let's rearrange that. Mm. Huh. I think if I double these up, that would look good. Yeah, if I doubled it up. So let's put this here and then add an extra layer. And then that will let me add these. Yeah, so those can kind of be the uh, the hyperspace engines or whatever. Maximum warp. And this will be the bridge right here. Let's turn that into a bridge. First, we'll add this here and this here. have to find a way to attach these better. Maybe we'll, do, we'll do something like this. And that will allow me to attach these. There we go. That looks good, I think. Um, I'm not sure what those are supposed to be. Maybe docking bays? Yeah, something like that. Let's go ahead and add this here to, yeah, I think that looks, that looks good. I like the way that looks. We can add some more of these here. Mm. Actually, I'm, I might not like that. Yeah, that doesn't look quite as like I wanted it to. Okay, that might be that might be better. Let's try that. Yeah, okay, that, that that looks good, I think. Where did that piece go? There we go. So we got kind of a bridge going on right there. Looks good. Oh, that's on incorrectly. Let's put that on the same way. Add one of those. Yeah, that, that works. 
then we can add can add some more mm, that doesn't quite work yeah let's just use this it's kind of fun to build something on an odd scale uh, with the just five studs across it's kind of fun it's uh, it's different I don't usually do that all that often uh, let's connect that there let's see if we can smooth smooth out this rear portion Um, let's put that there. Like that. Um, no, yes. Hmm. I guess we can do that. Let's replace that with something a little. Less pronounced. Okay. And we can use these right here. That works well. Oh, I'm going to, yeah, great idea. I'm t telling myself I had a great idea. Wow, the humility. Okay, let's replace those. Yes, I like the look of that much better. So there's that. I feel like we maybe could have <laughs> could have had some more. Let's see what this would look like. Mm, I don't like that. I like it how it was. I think that looked better. We can add these kind of to the side. These could be like side side markers or something. Or maybe they, they indicate allegiance or faction or something. There we go. I think I've just about used everything that I have space for. I suppose I could add more of this, but I don't really think that would add anything. Oh, yeah, let's add this. That's good. Just a little bit more structure to the front here. Cool. There we go. So look at that right there. That looks like a pretty speedy cruiser there. An exploratory class vessel or something. What should we name it? Leave a comment with what this should be called. But And also, this is proof that every Lego set is actually a spaceship. Look at that. It's a pretty good spaceship, if I do say so myself. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I know this is kind of a silly, silly kind of video, uh, but I find it entertaining. And if people like this, I will be happy to do uh, more in the future. Every set's a spaceship. And everyone knows that spaceships are awesome. Spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. I don't think I've said spaceship enough times. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in another video. Uh, this has been Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Take care.